how does your students handle um, the tax default people and then turn around and the, the people who live in the property, they don't want to get out? How do they handle that? Uh, they don't. Uh, they, we make sure they don't. Um, if there's people in the property, in mm -hmm. most cases, they've already left. Uh, if there's people in the property, they, we just teach them to go and introduce themselves and ask when they're going to leave. And then on the way home, already have an attorney that you've called and then let the attorney serve them the eviction notice or whatever. It costs about $1,500, something like that. Uh, don't even get involved with the people. You, you, you don't want to do that because there's all kinds of promises and then people get all these gimmicky things. Give them a check for keys and blah, blah, blah. Just, just make a business out of it. Introduce yourself. And if there's somebody there, which they'll avoid you, so it's very hard to contact them. So just, do, just go through the eviction process and move on. With that being said, you know, how do you, you know, I mean, obviously you're doing a lot of your research. You're doing a lot of, you know, you, I'm sure you have a full team behind you. Um, you have students from, you know, all over the country. Right. Do you the world, tell them how, how to uh, go and get these, you know, get the information on this or do you provide the information for them? for these auctions and, and tax auctions, things like that? No, we, we basically teach them the fish. Uh, okay. In the room with me right now is a guy by the name of Lance. He's running everything in the studio and he teaches a class just on how to research. And so he does okay. that every single week. He teaches class on just how to research. Then we have other people that teach classes on, on how to take the list of all the properties and narrow it down to what you want. Because sometimes the list is too big. For example, mm -hmm. um, here's, a, here's a county in New York, and it's their brochure. Yeah. And their brochure, if I open it up, like the, the black dots you see on there, these, these are all properties and these are descriptions. So this yeah. one has about um, 235 properties. Well, there's no way you can look at all those. So right. you've got to learn how to narrow it down to the precious few that you want. And then, yep. he, then we teach them how to research those. And they, they do all that before they ever even go to look at the property. So we go through all that process. And then once you looked at it, now what are you going to pay for it and why? All right. Now all right, you decide you want to buy that one. What do you what do you think you can sell it for? So you're going to do mm -hmm. the comparables and what's the neighborhood? And then how are you going to go about selling it? And so it's a complete cycle. And that that takes a person, depending upon how good they are, uh, you know, a person of your stature that's doing it all the time, you do it in a week or 10 days, but the average person takes 30 to 60 days to, to learn all those things because they're going to classes with us. And then they're going to, we have classes online. So they go mm -hmm. to classes online to do it. So it's, it's just like going back to school. I mean, there's a, there's a director of training to make sure that you get to the right class and you're with the right coach all the time. I mean, you have to check right. in electronically for every class. You can't just do what you want to do. You have to follow the steps. And it's, and it's been, you know, that's, that's 30 years of doing it. Okay. That's awesome. So you yeah, got people, like people that specifically teach um, how to do all this so that you are not sitting there providing the service for them. You want to teach them how to do it. Yeah. Nobody comes to me because they want to know that Ted Thomas is the greatest at buying property. They don't <laughs> give a crap about Ted Thomas. What they care about <laughs> is, how much money can we show them how to make? And so right. there's a lot of people trying to teach things and teach people to make five and 10 grand. Well, five mm -hmm. and 10 grand, you can make a mistake with five or 10 grand, you know, and lose. Yeah. So we're teaching people to make 25 to 50 grand. And if, it's, if you can't see that in the deal, we just say, stop right there. Go on, go on to the, see, there's always the next one. There's mm -hmm. always a, the, the tax defaulted business We'll have no less than two million properties this year. Okay. It's, so, it's and how do you, how does your students handle um, the tax default people, and then turn around and the the people who live in the property they don't want to get out? How do they handle that? 
Uh, they don't. Uh, they, we make sure they don't. Um, if there's people in the property, in mm -hmm. most cases, they've already left. Uh, if there's people in the property, they, we just teach them to go and introduce themselves and ask when they're going to leave. And then on the way home, already have an attorney that you've called and then let the attorney serve them the eviction notice or whatever. It costs about $1,500, something like that. Uh, don't even get involved with the people. You, you, you don't want to do that because there's all kinds of promises. And then people get all these gimmicky things. Give them a check for keys and blah, blah, blah. Just, just make a business out of it. Introduce yourself. And if there's somebody there, which they'll avoid you, so it's very hard to contact them. So just, do, just go through the eviction process and move on. Okay. So, yeah, that, that's, that's good information. It's, it's just a business. You don't want to... You don't want to be getting upset about what the people are doing. And yeah. besides that, uh, they don't like guys with uh, white hair that's getting bald. So what, what <laughs> right. did that do? Me? You know, they're not going to like me. So uh, I might as well just go ahead and get the attorney, go see them. If I, if I meet them, I'll say, uh, if you're out of this house on Friday, I'll see to it. You get 1500 bucks. Cause I I've already, I've already budgeted the money for the attorney. I'm going to give it to you. If you're out of here on Friday. They're not out of there. I give it to the attorney. Simple as that. Right. And and then you're worried. Then you're just worried about taking care of a property, and that's that's a piece of cake. Mm -hmm. Secure it. Start fixing or start selling. Right. So, and how how fast can you sell it? Can you can you sell the property right away? Um, right after you get it, secure the property. <laughs> as soon as you get the property, you should secure it. Then you should mm -hmm. insure it then you should okay. start the process of selling. But you can't sell it until you get this magic document called a deed mm -hmm. in your hand or the county's recorded in your name. You can't sell it yet. So you could sell yeah. it. I could sell a property. If I get one today, I know you're a wholesaler. And I say, look, I got this property for 75 grand. It's worth mm -hmm. about 175. Give me 25 grand and it's your baby. You say, great deal. Okay. When would you have a deed? I said, I'm selling it today. As soon as the deed arrives, I'll call you and we'll finish the deal. You can't Got finish it. the deal and just write in your contract. As soon as we have the deed, we're going to do it. It's perfectly legal. I mean, I don't want to, we'll never do, do anything mm -hmm. illegal. If you have a broker, right. just tell the broker, handle all that and give them a, a small commission. You don't have to always pay, you know, six or 8%. You can give them, say, look, you know, can you handle 3%? And the guy will probably do that, or the gal. Uh, mostly mm -hmm. women today. So tell me, so we've gone a lot, we've talked a lot about these tax deeds, especially for Michigan. Michigan is a tax deed state. Um, and you just taught me something, to be honest. So um, instead, of, instead of tax liens. And I, so from here, what is next for you? What are you doing in the future? And how can the audience here um, help you move along? Well, thank you. Uh, that's a nice thing to say. Uh, it's a very nice thing to say. As a matter of fact, the first podcast I've ever done that someone said something like that. Uh, you could, your team can help us just by um, um, if they want uh, they want to go to one of our events. And uh, by that, I mean, mm -hmm. go, go to a, a $47 class and see if they like it. If they don't okay. like it, it costs them $47. If they liked it, they'll go further from there. So that's all they, right. they have to do. Uh, we're, we're here all the time. I have a YouTube channel. If they have questions or stuff that they want to cover, about 3,000, sometimes 4,000 people a day watch my YouTube channel. And, okay. um, and uh, th those are the two easy ways to get us. And um, I, I think um, uh, we'll be doing this business uh, long. The company will probably be doing this long after I'm gone because this is, uh, once you know this business, it's here forever. And you don't Most have definitely. to- worry about what state you're in because it's happening in all the states. It's not, mm -hmm. it's not just Michigan. It's all over the United States. We could have the same stories that we had today about, about um, Florida or Texas or California. Mm -hmm. I mean, let me show you a list from California. So, so I showed you a list from New York, right? Let me show you a yep. list from, from just from Los Angeles, just one city. Holy crap. Except they have two auctions. Let me see if I got the other one. These are just left. Oh, here's another. So they have two auctions. This one had about 2,500 properties. Mm -hmm. And this one had 1,000 more. Now, I've also heard that 
a lot one of one I've I've also heard that they're a lot of them that say that they're going to go to auction and then last minute days before whatever the case may be on um, the homeowner pays on it and it doesn't go to auction. Okay. Now that's so, just, that's true, but not everywhere. Okay. So right. everything depends upon the legislature of the state. So the state makes the rules and they mm -hmm. push it down to the board of supervisors or county commissioners, and then it has to be executed there. All right, so Michigan, to give you an example, in Michigan, mm -hmm. every property that comes up for auction, the, the state and the county already own the property. So there's no mm -hmm. one coming in to redeem that property. In Florida, people come in at the last minute and can still pay for the property. So sometimes okay. you will be bidding like this, bidding, and someone come run in the room, I got a check, I got a check. And the treasurer is an elected official. Uh, I can tell you right now that I don't care what the law says, the treasurer is going to take that check. Right. So, and that can, yeah, that's, that can happen. <laughs> that's interesting. Cause I know here in, in most of the counties here in Michigan, usually they don't go to auction for taxes unless it's they're three years behind. California so, it's five years. Yeah. Um, now if the, if the county's backed up, like it was with COVID, they get, a lot longer so they can i've seen it five six years um just because of the whole covid thing they, they weren't doing auctions at all so yeah. um but it is uh the good thing is, is that we are back to regular regular you know schedules and the big times are for the auction were like march and so the end of march where taxes are due so uh, I think it's March 31st. That's a that's a big time. Well, forget all that. All you care about is that the auctions is are the auction order. date. All you care okay. is the auction date. That's all you care about. You don't care about summer taxes. You don't care about winter taxes. You don't care about <laughs> any of that. All you care about is what the auction date is. So go to that address yeah. I gave you, and I'll tell you when. It. And those probably so. Own. Yeah. So what I do is is I. Uh, I do care about that as a wholesaler because what I try to do is I try to contact the ones that are behind before the, the state takes it over. And if I can buy the property before then, then it helps. And that's the, usually around that time, I would say, um, you know, February to March, I, I, I pull a, a tax lien list. So like a, a, a tax delinquent list. So, and we'll cold call those, but, um, you know, so that's a strategy for any wholesalers out there, um, dealing with that, but the, the auctions, it sounds like are much later and the county or the county is already taking the property by then. Well, they've also done something that's very important. Yep. The county's wiped out all the other liens. When you buy it before yes. the auction, you could be buying yourself a real headache. That is true. Yeah. I still always go through a title company. We don't do quick claim deeds or anything like that. We always go through title companies. So that's the good yeah. thing. But yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah. that th this was awesome. This was great having you on here. And, uh, you know, so for is your YouTube channel Ted Thomas? At Ted yes. Thomas on YouTube. Okay. So check everyone check him out on YouTube. Check it out, check out tedthomas.com. Uh, all his contact info is in the description below. So go ahead and, and look there. Uh, you know, I really, really do appreciate you coming on here and you know, joining us for this live. Like you taught me quite a few things about tax liens, about tax deeds all of that. So I really do appreciate that. Um, you know, I know we don't have any questions at the moment, but later on when this video is still, still going, I'm sure there'll be questions in the, in the comments and ask your questions away and, and we'll get to them as, as soon as, soon as we can. Yeah. And then if you want so, to, um, um, check with my assistant and she'll, 
She'll work with you on, if you want to do something special for your, your clients on the, uh, your, your special Facebook, uh, you could do that because you, you could promo it and then you could do something. Yeah. There. I would and love then, to do that. Like that cause, cause you could do, um, 10 minute videos three times and you'd be surprised yep. what happens when you do that. That's awesome. So we'll, we'll do, we'll definitely do something like that um, on, you know, for the Facebook group to get as many eyeballs on this as possible. And, and we, we just want to teach is teach people, you know, about the different ways to invest uh, different ways to do things different. There are mm -hmm. umpteen different ways to make money in real estate. You know, that's for so sure. That's for sure. Wholesaling is not is only one of them. Tax liens, tax deeds, buying them at auctions. That's another one. Like, you know, there's a lot of different fix and flipping is only one. You know, buy and hold is another one. You know, like there's I can go on for days. Um, you know, but with with that being said, I really do appreciate your time. Uh, we're going to cut it off I, and kind of go from there. Ted, if you hold back, I'll I'll talk to you in a minute, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna close up. All right. Okay. All right, everyone. Thank you. I really do appreciate you coming out here and uh, you know enjoying this live. Ted Thomas was awesome. Go ahead and check out his contact info in the description below. I. Uh, Honestly, I learned some new stuff today too. And this is the whole reason I'm doing this channel. I'm doing this, this podcast because I get to bring people on here about stuff that I don't even know about and I get to learn. And while I'm learning, we get to share it with you. So with that being said, I will wait for the next guest. We'll be, we'll be in two weeks and I can't wait. So in the meantime, let's all do deals together. Once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room And damn, what a hell of a view